Real quiet, and let's roll, please. Sam Speed, 53 Delta, take one, common mark. On a Wednesday afternoon in downtown Rumford, Action! This tiny production set is attracting a lot of attention. Hey, Mr. Reed. Oh, hi, Debbie. For about a month, Western Maine is playing the part of the Allagash region along the Canadian border for an independent film starring Tom Berenger and Kristen Hager. There's something about the script that's really subtle and it's really powerful and there's this really beautiful connection between this sad lost man and this sad lost woman that really spoke to me. Hager grew up in a small Canadian town and says she doesn't mind a small set, especially one that reminds her of home. Oh, it's been fantastic. I didn't go home for Christmas and so I've desperately been wanting snow and so I've got some. <laughs> <laughs> these are pretty worn out. Are these your actual bean boots? No. No. Okay. A camera crew itself stands out, but on a sunny day in March, this crowd, more accustomed to California weather, is really set apart. This definitely has all the locations, it definitely has the look of everything, it definitely has the depth of people in terms of crew and everything. Um, couldn't really answer why it's overlooked, maybe because it's just so cold. <laughs> That's a cut. <laughs> This scene shot in Rumford's downtown is meant to mimic downtown Presque Isle. And while the cameras aren't in the woods of northern Maine, it was important to get the look just right. It just logistically, it's just too far north and, you know, all those good things. But you need to keep it in the forestry and the, the spirit of the story and what's there. Go to 100. Got it. Okay. Yeah, because, I mean, there's still... There's still the yeah. You know, I have memories of when I was younger with my dad and his brother and my cousins. We would go up there for a couple weeks, you know, every summer and just get lost and explore. Filmmaker John Barr is the man most of the crew is looking to for guidance. He's not only running the camera, he's the main native and the writer. Behringer's character is actually loosely based on Barr's father. Well, my dad still lives like that. He, um, he is in, uh, he lives in this, uh, an RV that basically is a, another center point of the film. You know, it's a character in itself. Um, and he, uh, he hunts and fishes year round. He lives in this thing. He goes up north, you know, constantly. Barr lives in LA now. And while Maine may not provide the major tax incentives other film friendly states do, it's good to be home. You know, you learn so much from these people and you, um, learn how to do things big and how to do things small. And when you come back to Maine, um, it's definitely back to basics in a lot of ways, you know, which I love. The basics include a crew of 35 people, just a few cameras and a few actors, and a lot of help from the locals. We're terribly small in terms of Hollywood. Yeah, we're, we're small, but um, it, I like it to think, think of us as film team six. We're like the elite. Got it. Community's been amazing. Everybody's excited, super helpful. And a little curious. Some have even jumped in to help the crew with odd jobs. In the grand scheme of things, an independent film shot within a month isn't a major motion picture, but it's a big production for a small state like Maine. Be very quiet, please. And let's roll both cameras. And the locals hoping for their 15 minutes of fame in the background of a movie set. Action! Both Sousa, the producer, and I work on TV commercials in, in LA and globally. And, you know, we work on films as well. So we have a lot of great friends that work at the highest level. And, you know, obviously it's not about the money for this thing because we, uh, we have very little. Um, so, uh, yeah, it was just, you know, that's what makes this amazing. It's like it's a, it's a family affair to a certain extent, you know, like not about the money. It's about bringing good people together to do something hopefully good.